Okay, I wanted to do another um, quick video to explain something else that comes up a lot between professionals and consumers. And uh, once again, I just want to state that I'm not making these videos so that do-it-yourselfers can take this and solve all their own problems. We always recommend that you contact an HVAC professional for anything HVAC related, but I do want to help answer some questions that do come up from time to time. Um, so let me first show you this. Um, this is a uh, 5 amp fuse. Um, 5 amp fuses are marked with the 5 on the top. It's kind of hard to see it there, but uh, 5 amp fuse is very common in a air handler, fan coil type system, heat pumps. Uh, they connect into the low voltage circuit. Um, a lot of times people will find their thermostats blank. Uh, when you find your thermostat blank, that does not always mean that your thermostat is bad. If it's a battery operated thermostat, obviously you want to check the batteries, but a lot of thermostats aren't battery operated where they receive their power directly from the transformer. The transformer looks something like this. This is actually a 75 VA transformer. This is a little bit larger uh, than the one that a lot of you will have, um, but I want to show it because um, some transformers will have a fuse directly on the transformer itself. So if the fuse were to blow, this would pop, and then you would snap it back in in order to remake connection. Um, on occasion, they'll look like this. Okay, but most units, most residential units, don't have that type of reset. Lennox commonly does have it on the residential grade, but generally speaking, you're going to have one of these. Now, when this little element in here blows, it's going to be black, uh, or you'll see a separation there. If it looks like this, that means that the fuse is still good, but a blown fuse, as well as a blank thermostat, is usually just kind of the tip of the iceberg. Um, if your thermostat is blank, it could be the fuse like this. It could be um, uh, something like this, which is an auxiliary float switch. Um, if your drain line backs up, or if there's other drain related issues, it will fill up this T, um, and then it will uh, move this float to this upper position, which then opens the circuit and causes you to lose power to the thermostat, which in some cases, like I've said, can cause you your thermostat to go blank. Um, the biggest thing I can tell people is that if you have one of these blow, don't just keep replacing it. It blows for a reason. Um, that reason may be something very simple or obvious. It may be something that's difficult to diagnose. Um, a lot of cases, it's a wire that's rubbed out in the condenser. or Someone's hit the thermostat wire with a weed, act, weed whacker. Um, where the thermostat wire goes through the cabinet, sometimes it will rub out and that will cause this to blow. Um, but it can be something concealed like the uh, thermostat wire in a chase line uh, has shorted out or something of that nature. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to diagnose, but, but once again, don't just keep replacing these fuses, otherwise eventually you will blow the transformer. Um, definitely don't replace a fuse with a larger rating fuse. Uh, most gas furnaces will have a 3 amp fuse, that's very common residential gas furnaces, so always replace the fuse with the type of fuse that it was originally. Another thing I want to mention is, and this is for our technician friends out there, um, at the top of the transformer, uh, a replacement transformer is generally going to, let me do it this way, it's going to give you instructions about what uh, each wire designation is, and so you have your um, uh, your secondary, uh, which in this case is uh, red and green, these ones up here, and then you also have your primary, and it's a multiple uh, different types of primaries that can be connected. You always use the white wire on this particular transformer, and then if you have 120 volts, you use black. If it's 208, you use red, 240, you use orange, so on and so forth. So here's what I'm getting at. Obviously, you're going to be using two of these wires and then the other ones you're not going to be using. Do not take the ones that you're not using and connect them together with the bare ends and a wire nut because that will cause you to fry your transformer. I've seen lots of guys do this. I did it back when I was a newbie to the, to the field. So when you are using a uh, multiple primary transformer, make sure to individually cap each one of the wires that you're not using. Um, but a lot of times in the field, what we find is the reason why we end up replacing transformers is because uh, someone was messing around with the fuses, kept replacing them, uh, put in a larger size fuse, and ended up blowing the circuit. I've even seen situations where someone has taken a fuse like this, taken the uh, inlet side of the fuse and wrapped wire around it and then stuck it back in. Well, obviously, the purpose of the fuse is to break the circuit so that something doesn't melt and get fried. Um, you're actually lucky if it's the transformer that fries and not a circuit board, thermostat, whatever. Um, 
all that I'm really trying to come down to here is, is that if you have a blown fuse, if you have a blown transformer, if you have a blank thermostat, make sure to diagnose the cause as opposed to just going to Home Depot and getting a new thermostat, uh, putting in a new transformer, putting in a new fuse. You first want to figure out what the reason is, if, if at all possible. Thank you, and I hope this has helped.